Uh, now you need to hold Dad's hand in your horses, okay, remember? Jazz and I, um, we've got four boys. Um, Oliver, who's the oldest, um, Lincoln, Edward and Dougal. Dougal's only three. Do you want to give him a pat on the nose? Yeah. Do you want to pat him? See? Just give him a pat on the nose. Easy. Just gently. <laughs> He's by Epaulette. Family's everything. I mean, that's 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 why we 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 do this really. Um, you know, you sort of you're trying to build a build a legacy and um, something that the kids hopefully some of them might be interested in taking on in the future. It's, it's it's great to have four boys running around the farm. We we get them working on weekends and holidays and um, and just giving them the life you know the best life possible, which is um, you know a great farm life hopefully. Both my parents came to um, Scone. One, Dad came up with Pop to establish the quarter horse stud. And then Mum actually moved with um, Miss Raymond. She moved what was St Albans from Victoria up to what's now Sledmare. Um, so she worked for Miss Raymond when they did that. And so, yeah, they met up here. So that's, that's how the sort of the horse thing started. Riversdale's been great to us and it's really, it's been a fantastic stepping stone. But it's we were, we were sort of we've been looking for to make that next move like your jazz and I you know to expand the place and to get something of, of our own to sort of establish our own legacy for ourselves and the children. We've been lucky enough to purchase Ashley Thoroughbreds, so um, we move in there in May, and it's 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 sort of it's sort of come full circle. You know we're back up where Mum and Dad sort of started in that area, and we'll run the two properties together, um, which will give us um, you know, 280 acres of irrigation flats and 330 of hills, and we'll grow the yearlings out in the hills up there. You know, Ashley's just such a, a great place. It's so well set up. It's produced outstanding horses. I mean, you've got Sanger's spread a number of Group 1 with winners, one being Captivant, who's gone to stud you know, last year, been really well received. So it gives us that flexibility to have hill country as well as irrigation flats and a great place to grow out yearlings and just take Riversdale to the next level, really. We've had some great success out of the Classic Sale over the years and, you know, even, even from last year's draft, there's already been a filly come out of that, Cherokee Miss, who won first up really well for Richard Jolly. She's by Pariah. She won really well at her first start and um, she's gone out for a spell and he's gonna bring her back from some stakes races. But uh, we've been lucky enough to, you know, sell three Group 1 winners in the last few years with Samadout and Natoya and Behemoth. We bred Irukandji, who was Dundee's first stakes winner. So that was a big thrill to sort of see him sort of kick off. And we, we got the first black tie, which was nice. And um, we also bred Merrill, who was Epaulette's first stakes horse. You know, that, that was a thrill too. So, you know, it's, it's, it's great seeing these horses come along. And we're only a small farm. I mean, I'd like to think we're, we punch above our weight. We breed well-educated sound horses and it's about longevity and, you know, you, you, a long-term sort of outlook for the industry, really. The Classic Sale's um, always been a, a, a great, great sale to pick up those good value horses. I mean, so many, so many good horses come from it. It's a real grassroots sale. As a vendor, you do a lot of lead work at the at the classic sale because you get a lot of people through. And I find that it's you do a lot of leg work because there's a lot of individual buyers through there. So you don't get the agents buying for groups. You get sort of people coming through that will be buying for themselves and trainers buying for themselves. So, you know, I think that's where the um, classic sale excels. And, you know, there's something there for everyone. You can find your high-end horses as well as, you know, your value horses. And as we've said before, the value horses, you know, um, they sometimes are the ones that win your group ones. We've got 24 horses going down to the Classic this year, which is a you know, good sized draft. There's, um, there's five coming from Ashley, so we've combined with um, Ashley Thoroughbreds for this sale. So it's sort of we're back into the Southern Cross days again, almost. So it's great to have Ashley's horses in, you know, selling with ours. You know, we're, we're lucky enough to have a, a, a couple of uh, really good New Zealand clients, Mona Vale, Stud and Inglewood. So we've got, a, we've got some nice horses from New Zealand to present at the Classic sale this year, which is great, adds, adds an extra bit of flavour. Uh, we've got a really nice uh, Ocean Park colt out of a mare called Rudaz. You know, he's just a, a really lovely walking, you know, good-bodied horse. He's very forward for a, for a uh, Ocean Park. He'll stand out very well, I think. 
So the Glamorama Hellbent Colt, he's out of a Zoo Star mare. Um, he's from a lovely family. Um, he's just a really so good walking horse. He's got, you know, he's nice and forward, um, as you expect sort of a Hellbent to be. But, um, you yeah, know, he's, he's a bit of a standout on type, that guy. The thoroughbred industry presents a lot of challenges, but it's a huge thrill just um, seeing things that you have sat down and done the matings for, fold down, raised, sold, and then, you know, go on to be successful on the track. There's, there's nothing like it, really.